Sourcing gas struts for your project can seem like a daunting task, but with the right tools, it's actually fairly simple. Today, we're gonna to go over calculating, ordering, installing, and adjusting gas struts. The complicated calculation process is actually made pretty simple using an online calculator, such as the one from Gas Spring Shop. This tool will even show you a simulation of your completed hatch. I also utilized the free calculator tool found on the TNTTT forum to figure out the required force. The hatch length and weight are the two most important numbers you will need to figure out in order to calculate what struts you need. I just used a standard bathroom scale to get the dead weight and overall weight of the hatch. Then I just used a tape measure to measure the length. Once you have these numbers, you can just plug them into the tool and it will do the work for you. The gas spring shop tool will also suggest what strut to order and will use the calculation to set the newton meter force. Unfortunately, they don't tell you the force calculation until after you place the order. Once you are happy with the calculations, you can input the numbers into the spreadsheet from TNTTT and it will tell you the force of the struts. That way you can order it from another source if you would like. All right, here's a mock-up of the struts in place. You can see that it holds the weight of the hatch pretty good. Now I just need to mark everything attach it all. I'm going to move the bottoms up just slightly so this isn't hanging. So the top I'm going to attach with rivets. Then on the bottom here I'm going to screw and bolt these brackets into the frame. Alright, here are the top parts riveted into place. Now we need to attach the bottom. I'm going to use these brackets I made. I'm going to bolt them to this inner steel frame here. Okay, as you can see, the hatch is holding itself up. That's where the struts are going to be located. Right now it's just being held in place by a clamp. There's little brackets I made. I'm going to put a bolt in each one of these brackets, both sides, and then we'll test this thing out.
it became apparent very quickly that mounting the struts directly to the fiberglass was not going to be strong enough. So I had some scrap aluminum and I made some reinforcement plates to keep it into place. This plate is riveted into the fiberglass in three places. And then this plate is riveted all the way through into the fiberglass through two pieces of aluminum. And this one is actually riveted into the steel frame of the hatch. So now there's no deflection when you pull down. See on this side, we did the same thing. Now one more weak point on this hatch that we need to address is down here where those latches attach. You can see they kind of rub through the trim. So I cut some more of that same steel that I used for these brackets. And I'm gonna mount this here as a reinforcement for the locking pins. I'm gonna do this the same way. I'm just gonna drill through a couple spots here and put a little washer in there, or a, a nut in there for a spacer. And then if I need to, I can tie it in on this side as well. Alright, here's what it looks like closed up. And when I clean up the interior, I'll trim all this stuff in. And that's good and level at the top. I think that worked pretty well. So after a little testing, I feel like these struts are a little too strong. So I emailed the customer service and their response was that your springs are 500 newtons, which is rated for approximately 115 pounds. With the hatch weight being 63 pounds, you need about 280 newtons. So I can send them in and have them lower the gas pressure a little bit, or I can just try and do it myself. So we're gonna try to do that. All right, the way that we're gonna release the pressure, they have a little valve in the end here underneath this eye. We're just gonna take a little Allen wrench, set it down to that valve, and take a hammer and give it a little tap. There it goes. So we're gonna do that to both sides. Just gonna do two taps on each side and then test it and see how it looks. Let's put it back on, see how it feels. Reduce them a little bit. I did five taps. They definitely feel a little softer now, but they still hold the door up just fine. I didn't, don't want to go too far with it because I don't want to send them back in to get them reduced. 
or get them refilled. But there you go. Last thing we have to do to the hatch in the future video is reinforce the Synthaplex hinge again. We need to seal it. There's a piece of tape on the top at the moment. But I'm going to need someone's help to take the hatch and put the off to do that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.